Yeah, let let me let me give a brief of this script first. So we have the PowerShell script where we are creating a lot of document libraries. Correct. So we have, I have got a requirement from a client where he is creating. He wants to generate like a uh, dynamic document library where use end user will go and have a form where they can input their document library name if they want to add the folder. Behind the scene, I can run the PowerShell script and it can be created. But the second requirement basically was like when the document li library gets created, it must getting added in this area of the quick link as well. It must be dynamic. It not be like anyone will come and add it on the page. OK, so I have written a PowerShell script which is actually going to do the same task. So what I did basically is like I have created a SharePoint list where I'm adding all those existing links in that SharePoint list. And when the user so, so I'm not giving I'm not going to show the interface here, but we can do with the interface where we can have like a power apps canvas app where we are going to get the input for all the document libraries which are getting created. Behind the scene, what will happen like the data will go and saved in the SharePoint list. When the data will get saved in the SharePoint list, I'm actually uh, triggering a logic app and in the logic app, I'm triggering a Azure function. In that Azure function, I have actually scheduled schedule that PowerShell scripts. So I am going to show that PowerShell script and I'm going to run it manually, which is actually You can see I have hard coded this value. You can see like I have PNP PowerShell community as a title. I have given the URL as this, and now I am going to run it. You can see the PowerShell script is still running. Yep. Let me. Yep. The PowerShell has completed his running. So I'm going onto the page. I have not refreshed the page yet, but you guys can see like currently I have like 4, 3, 7, and 3, 10 quick links here. So as I have ran the PowerShell script, now I am refreshing the page. And you can see PNP PowerShell community has been added in the quick links. And the good part of this script is like it is actually sorting all those quick links. And I'm just editing the page. And you can see like it is also adding the target audience. In the quick quick links. So this is the first script which I have wrote. Yep, Wagner. Any questions, guys? Is that a uh, so I I I think we there's so many people in the call, but so we cannot really go to the chat too much. Um, but mm -hmm. are you using uh, what what techniques are you using for adding the links uh, and processing the page? Is that using the PMP PowerShell or what's happening behind the scenes? So what will happen? Like this is the code which I have took out from the SharePoint, which is actually generating when we are adding the quick links on the page. So I will. When you will go into the underscore layout kind of thing, you I have got this code from there and I have added that code in the quick links. So you can see I've simply used this to call that function and I'm passing all the quick links because what I did basically is I'm adding all those in the SharePoint list, all those quick links in the SharePoint list first. Uh, let me open the SharePoint. Oh, yeah. Here you can see like I have maintained the list here. So all the quick links which are already on the page, they, they are available here. But if any new will come, 
if any new will come, that will again getting added here. So that if I will add one more new quick links on the page, it will going to pick up all these quick links and we'll add the new entry here. Cool. And you're using clearly, I can see from the script also that you're using PMP PowerShell commandlets to automate the, the manipulation of the page um, and the yes. reports. So that was cool. Yes. Yeah. The good part is like you don't have to do the manual interaction kind of thing where owner of the page will go and create the quick links, add the links and sorting and all those things. But this script will like a complete package kind of thing where it will do the adding of the newly created document library links, add the target audience and it will sort them automatically on the page. Really cool. So moving on my second. PowerShell script, yeah. So the first one is actually adding the link on the page itself. This script is actually going to add the link on the left hand side navigation. So I am giving it like. If you can see like I've added PNP PowerShell Community 2 as a title. I'm giving URL as the google.com and I'm saying like it, it will be in the quick launch. So I'm going to run it and before running it, I'm going to show it like. It is going to add under core activities because I want the specific link to be added under this. So if you can see like I don't have. I have the PNP PowerShell script, but this is this is PNP PowerShell community. So I am going to create PNP PowerShell community 2 on the same left hand navigation. So I'm running the script now. Again, this script is going to run it. It is going to create the new quick links in the left hand navigation and it is going to sort the navigation as well. running. Yeah, it has completed, so I am going to refresh the page now. So I'm opening the core activities now. And you can see PNP PowerShell Community 2 has been added. And the good part is it can sort the quick link automatically. Which is absolutely cool as well. Now, now, um, Naveen, uh, are these uh, is the scripts uh, are these available somewhere on the scripts, or or is this something what you've you've kept on your your side? So I've kept it on my side, but I'm happy to upload if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I I think Paul is more than happy to help you if you're interested in sharing that uh, within the PMP script gallery, uh, definitely. And these are really cool uh, automation scripts. Uh, so. Or you can put them in your own GitHub and, and get them shared uh, as well for, uh, yeah, uh, for yeah, people. Yeah. Awesome yeah, stuff. Happy to do it. Yeah, happy to do it. Mm -hmm.